Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk to you about a new drama Hulu original series. It's called The Girl from Plainville. Now this is based on a true story that really happened. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now the first three episodes are uploaded today on Hulu. So you can go ahead and check that out. I don't want to give too much away, but if you know the backstory of this whole thing, you'll know basically what the series is about. Okay, so it's about Michelle Carter and Conrad Roy III, okay? It's the true story of Michelle Carter's texting suicide case, exploring her relationship with Conrad Roy III and the events leading up to his death and later her conviction of involuntary manslaughter. So she goes to jail in real life for the texting suicide and they called it involuntary manslaughter okay so the first episode is called star cross lovers and things like that a teen's death by suicide on earth painful questions for his family and reveals a complicated mostly virtual relationship with a young woman who may hold the answers all right now i'm going to tell you this girl named michelle carter she is a weird one she is really weird. The relationship they have is weird. And I feel like she was just saying a lot of stuff so that when he did do it, it can make her look like, you know, I was his girlfriend and I really cared about him. But yet, you wrote him text messages saying what to do and all that kind of stuff. But in this episode, it shows that his mother was, you know, was looking for him. They found the car at Kmart, his pickup truck in Kmart. And her ex-husband and her ex-father-in-law went to the um, crime scene. And it was her, his, you know, it was him. It was Conrad's car there. He was sitting in a car with the generator running. It was just heartbreaking. So, now episode two, it goes back to where Conrad and Michelle meet in Florida and discover a connection that will follow them back to their towns in massachusetts michelle honors conrad's memory while the police review their text so conrad's friend was supposed to do a, a fundraiser but miss thing honey michelle she took over that and she's very manipulative she's very manipulative she's like you know you can tell that she has issues her own self okay Conrad and Michelle both have issues that I think that either one was aware because when she was crying and got the news about Conrad, she went to her parents and they was asking her what's wrong. And she was like, Conrad is dead. They're like, well, who is Conrad? So her family knew nothing about him and his family knew nothing about her. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. And then when she sees Conrad's mom, she's hugging on her. It's just a whole weird thing. All right, Conrad's mom and his dad, they already have like a little beef going on. It's just really crazy. So episode two is called Turtle. And they, it shows them how they met in Florida on vacation with, with their families. Now, episode three is called Never, Ever, Never Have I Ever. Assistant District Attorney Katie, Ray, Katie Rayburn is reluctantly enlisted to pursue possible charges against Michelle. Michelle is torn between a new friend and Conrad. So, Michelle, you know, she's in high school, but she's 18. And so the police, you know, the guy, the detective that's looking into this, he talks to her in her school and said, listen, I have to you know, confiscate your phone and I will take you home and I, I need your computer. These kids think when you write something in your text messages, your, your cell phone, those things doesn't get erased. There's some type of way they can retrieve all of that stuff from the phone company. All right. Because all the stuff that she was writing him, they did show clips of it. All the stuff that she was writing him. Like, why would you want to tell somebody that, you know, this guy possibly had problems. You have problems with your own self. So why would you tell him to do that? So a lot more is going to be unraveled as the series go on. Now the next airing of this episode of this series is going to be April 5th. That's, I mean, excuse me. Yeah, April 5th, episode 4 
that's going to be the next one that, that uploads. So, but you can watch all three now. I didn't want to give too much away, but it is based on the Michelle Carter and Conrad Ward III case from before. And it's a real case that happened. Okay. Okay. So now that I told you about the show, let's get into the, what really happened of what happened with Conrad Roy. Now we're going to go into real life real quick. Conrad Henry Roy III was born September 12, 1995, and he died July 13th of 2014. He was an American teenager who died by suicide at the age of 18. His girlfriend, then 17-year-old Michelle Carter, encouraged him in text messages to kill himself. The case was the subject of a notable investigation and involuntary manslaughter trial in Massachusetts, known as the Texting Suicide Case, Commonwealth versus Michelle Carter involved scores of text messages, emails, and phone calls recorded between Carter and Roy in the lead up to his death, in which in which Carter repeatedly encouraged Roy to kill himself. Roy has seen numerous mental health professionals and he insisted that he wanted to die. Carter and Roy have both been prescribed psychiatric medication. The case raised questions pertaining to the nature and limits of criminal responsibility. Now, Judge Monez, Monez concluded that Carter wanted Roy dead and that her words coerced him to kill himself, a position that was has been the subject to some criticism. Now, Carter was convicted by the judge of involuntary manslaughter, chiefly on the basis of her final phone call in which she ordered Ray after he became scared to go back inside his truck and fill and fill it with lethal carbon monoxide. Her sentence was 15 months in prison plus five years probation. She was paroled after just 11 months in jail. Her conviction was involuntary manslaughter, death of Conrad, Conrad Roy. She was found guilty. Her name is Michelle Diana Carter. The victim was Conrad Henry Roy III. The weapon that was used into his, sec his suicide was carbon monoxide poisoning. The attack type is encouraged suicide manslaughter. Okay, and this happened July 13th, 2014. The location where they found was, it happened at where they found Conrad Roy was Kmart parking lot in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. So that's a little backstory on what this, what this series is basically going to be about. And we're going to see firsthand and from the series of what happened and the events led up to his suicide. We're going to you know, the text message is going to be revealed to us and everything. Now, in this video, I'm going to put a few text messages that happen in real life. So, you can just get an idea of what's going to be coming up in the series. But, this is really interesting. I am all invested in this. Like I said, three episodes are up now. It just dropped today. Go ahead and watch it. Let me know what you think. And I will talk to you guys later. And another question. Have you heard of this case before or is this your first time hearing about it? And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.